So this will be an interesting one. I still think Godzilla will win. I guess let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Wyvern is making its way over. Oh. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Our first suggestion of the day is day two of asking for you to make Gary's grandma and grandpa. So check it out. I have already gone ahead and made them right here. What do you think? They look pretty good so far. Now look at the size of Gary's family. There's so many of them now. And in the last episode, I asked you guys for a name for the dog. And I've gone for this name right here. Hector the Hellhound. So thank you to that person on screen at the moment. Currently the son and daughter and of course the grandparents don't have names. But now it's time to see them in action because the next suggestion says day one of asking for an armored T-Rex versus Gary's family. There it is right now. It just came through, breached through the doors. And now let's watch them fight. Come on. I mean, the T-Rex is highly outnumbered here. But of course, T-Rex is very powerful. And this one is upgraded. To be fair, it doesn't have crazy upgrades. So I feel like Gary's family has this. No, Lexa is down. No, Gary's girlfriend. Oh, they've done it. Nice. Good work, Grandpa. So they defeated the T-Rex, but will they be able to take down my upgraded Hydra? Here he comes now. He can't fit through the door. <laughs> the entire door has just fallen over, but that's fine. All right, here comes Gary's family. Let's do this. I feel like Hector, Hector the dog here. Well, Hector the hellhound, I guess. Will do so much damage with that fire. Look, he could just keep his distance or bite his leg. Sure, that works too. But yeah, if he keeps using his fire like that, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Man, Gary's family, they're just becoming stronger and stronger. Oh, no, Hector. Oh, he's okay. He's fine. Look at them go. No, it's always Lexa. Save your wife, Gary. Save her. Oh, yes. Hydra has been defeated. Slight issue. We have the overpowered T-Rex up next. He's already shooting at Gary. Okay, surely they're not going to win this time. They're going in. Yes, come on. Kill that T-Rex. Oh, no. Lexus down again. And Gary. It's all up to the grandparents and his children. Plus the dog. You know what? The T-Rex has taken some damage. But I feel like it's probably going to win this battle, right? Oh, there goes the son. Come on. Oh, no. The grandpa. Oh, grandma. I'm not even too sure that's a grandma. Come on. Daughter, you're the last alive. Avenge the family. Avenge them. Oh, no. Oh, she's dead. It's just too strong. Now, for this next creature, we are going to have to send in the family because, well, you'll find out in just a moment. Here we go. Break down the door. That right there is that creepy monster thing I made in the last episode. Why are they bringing the door with them? Oh, it's terrifying. It's absolutely disturbing. But let's see if they can take it down. No one so far has actually been able to kill this thing. So, wait. What? They did it. They killed it. <laughs> yes. Nice. What you are about to witness is very disturbing. I present to you the spiked Titanoboa. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage right there. Yeah, I made this thing a while back. It still looks, well, kind of strange, but it is very strong due to all those spikes in it. As you can see, it's doing so much damage to the family right now. But with that being said, it looks like they are about to win this one. It's just too outnumbered and there's not much it can do. And there we go. Just like that. It is dead. Right. You guys might want to stay back. What the? <laughs> okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. I got my dynamite Goru, but I guess when he touches the door, it just blows up. Oh! <laughs> Moving on. Day one of asking Fudgy to make a very heavily armored knight with much armor. So here is our knight. I have scaled him up just a little bit, 0.2. And let's go ahead and just make him overpowered, I guess. Well, just give him lots of armor and hopefully he will be able to take back his kingdom. So I say we go for large shoulder pads as per usual. Although it seems like this knight is a little bit difficult to work with. As you can see, this is actually the first time I'm upgrading the knight, I believe. In fact, could we even change his helmet i feel like that's gonna really help out double helmet it looks strange but you know what i'm gonna keep it anyway um <laughs> i think i just broke his neck okay let's remove that piece of armor right there so some creatures in this game can be quite difficult to work with the hitboxes uh or the collision boxes aren't always as good as the other ones 
Um, so yeah, some creatures are just harder to work with, and it seems like this might be one of them. Okay, there we go. So this guy is already armored, but adding this extra armor should really help him out in the fight. I'm also going to add a giant shield to his back. That should block any attacks from behind. Now, I would say that looks pretty good. We have a lot of armor on. So let's go ahead and breach the castle to take down the skeletons. Let's see just how strong this guy is. Now, we haven't really added any weapons to him. He does have some spikes on his head. What is he doing? Why is he just laying there? Um, okay, interesting. He's trying to get in right now. Oh, here we go. Skeletons have made their way, way through. Pathetic. So clearly, this is a knight that needs some weapons. So you know what I'm going to do? Not only have I given him tentacles and ballistas, but I'm also going to add spikes to his sword. Now, he often does that swinging motion from the top. So I reckon by adding some angled spikes like this, he should be able to do some extra damage. Look at that. That looks lethal. That might be the weirdest looking sword I've ever seen, but it should do a lot more damage. So here we go. All you need to do... Let's get to the castle. It looks like no one is actually strong enough to <laughs> breach through. It takes a little while. What is he doing? Oh, I've just realized something. Oh, no. <laughs> All the blades stay in the same spot. No, he dies instantly. What is with this guy? Is the knight just really weak? Let's try it against this gorilla right here. Let's see if he can actually win. Well, he took him down pretty easily, but he did take some damage. King Kong, you're up next. Here we go. This is going to be a more difficult battle. Oh... Oh, he still won, though, and I'm guessing that's due to all those blades he has on him now. Horse incoming! And take it down! Oh, no. Oh, it's almost pushed me off the map. Okay, that's it. That's the horse guy down. Now we need to kill the Spartan warriors. Here we go. That's one down. One remaining. Come on. Yes, there we go. He lost quite a bit of health, though. Well, either I have made this guy wrong and something's going on, or the knight just isn't as powerful as I thought. Next suggestion. Day two of asking Fudgy to size down all the body parts to make a tiny human. I still don't know why people put day X in every suggestion, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I am going to slightly change up this suggestion, though, because we can just scale down humans like that pretty easily. So instead... What I'm going to do is if I go to the animal base, as you can see, I've already got the legs in. So let's go to torso. What I'm going to do is just make it so the body parts are all different sizes. Maybe go for a small torso and then maybe a larger head like this. Oh, looks like he's struggling to balance a little bit. So it's still going to be a tiny human, just very weird. So let's give him a uh, sword in one hand like that. And then his other hand... Let's, uh, let's go to this side. We won't have anything in it. That's the wrong arm, my bad. That's, again, the wrong arm. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, that looks really strange. Now, let's fight King Kong. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh is he dead? He's dead already. Oh, it's so weird looking. By the way, this creature is on team two. Look, he can't even walk. I mean, I'm not surprised he's got a giant head. Oh, my goodness. It's a poo jake gorilla. <laughs> Here we go. The ultimate battle. The moment you have all been waiting for. Here comes the poo. Oh, this poor guy. He's getting messed up. He's still alive, though. Oh, one more hit and he's dead. Oh, oh look at his arm. Bleh. You know what? Adding some tentacles might actually help him walk, even though the tentacles won't walk themselves, but, you know, it gives him a little bit of extra balance, I guess. Also makes him even scarier. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might be wrong about this. What if we gave him a giant arm? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I need to start this battle and see what happens here. Okay, here we go. Is it going to work? Oh. Okay, now that is really weird. We <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on a minute. What? I the gorilla weird. Okay, let's actually start the battle. So, yeah, look. There we go. Oh, never mind. He can stand up a little bit better with the tentacles. And the tentacles are going to do damage to the enemy, too. But we still lose. But... There is strength in numbers. Here we go. We have an army of them now making their way towards the upgraded Spinosaurus. So, oh, here we go. I really don't know who's going to win this fight. I mean, there is a lot of them, as you can see, of course. Um, it depends if they can actually go over there and do some damage with those tentacles. Uh, let's see. Let's check on the health, shall we? Oh, no way. <laughs> they did it so easily. Barely any of them died as well. I told you there's strength in numbers. Upgraded Velociraptors inbound. Get ready for the ultimate fight in, in this case. Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. The best fight you have ever 
scene. Okay, well, uh, you know what? They've actually gone and done it. No way. Tank Goru inbound. Yeah, there's no way these guys are winning this time around, right? Wait, what, what is he doing? Why is he freaking out like that? What? No, why? <laughs> are you kidding me? I think I actually know what happened there. So the harpoon on his head uh, brought someone in and then it started bugging out, I believe. So he, he freaked out a bit, which I think he might be doing it again. Oh, oh, wait, there it goes. Whoa, look how creepy they are. The way they just walk slowly over to the enemy is just absolutely terrifying. All right, come on, Goru, just don't fall off. Don't fall off. If he falls, it's game over. He's just picking them off now one by one. No, no. You know what? If it wasn't for that, he would definitely win. We have another big battle coming up because the next suggestion says day six of asking Fudgy to make Godzilla fight every unit. So I've actually done something similar before, but I made Godzilla fight all my upgraded units. And now we just have every unit in the game. So this will be an interesting one. I still think Godzilla will win. I guess let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Wyvern is making his way over. Oh, and probably dead instantly. Oh, look at them all. Look at them go. We've got rockets making their way inbound as well. That's a lot of firepower going into him. The hammer going into, you know, you'd really think that Godzilla would lose his battle. But like I said, I really don't think he will. I might have even done this before. I'm not too sure. But this is Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. We often get updates and stuff. So it's fun just to do stuff again if we, uh, you know, if we have done it before. Okay, here we go. Projectile Gorilla. Keep firing. He might be doing a bit of team damage, by the way. Look at that swarm bug. Got messed up. So let's take a look at Godzilla's health. As you can see, he has taken some damage, but it's so tiny. Like, he's taken the smallest amount of damage. Is that a, it's a gorilla on his back? There we go. Look at the pile of dead creatures. The elephant is down. Brachiosaurus down. Oh, man. He's too much of a beast. He, he can't be killed. Okay, so who have we got left? We have looks like something over here. We have uh, the archer. Uh, this person here with the crossbow. <laughs> Look at Cole. Cowardly Cole just chilling. You know what? Let's push him into the battle. Can we do that? <clears throat> okay, no, we can't. He's just going to chill there. So as you can see, Godzilla is now stuck. He's stuck behind the tree, which means this fight will probably never end. And there's a good chance he won't die for a very, very long time. So let's try this again. So I'm going to bring in some firepower now. We have some upgraded units along with of course, all the units in the game. I even have the Rocket Man guy right here. That should do a lot of damage. Right, let's start the battle. Here we go. Oh, no. I've sent the wrong teams. Oh, no. They're fighting amongst each other. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> oh, I do this quite often in this game, to be fair. Now we're ready. Okay, here we go. Come on. Take down Godzilla. Take him down. Oh, they're all dying. Rocket Man, fire those rockets, please. Come on. We need you right now. Tank Goru making his way in as well. How's he doing for health? Look, still not taking any damage. Oh, man. He's just too strong. I say it in every single video that Godzilla is in, but he's too much of a beast. And also, what is Rocket Man doing? Dude, get up. Get to the battlefield. Oh, man. What a disaster that is. Yeah, we've got a lot of creatures now also falling off the map, as you can see. You know, I would bring in Gary's family, but... Again, they won't really be able to do anything. So it looks like uh, Tank Goru is putting in most of the work here. Oh, look, normal Goru. Come on. Oh, he's dead. Well, he tried. Oh, hang on a minute. It's almost out of the map. Just push it off a little more. That's the only way we can defeat him by pushing him off. Just a little nudge off the map and we should be good. They're stuck in the trees again. Look at that health. Are you kidding me? Come on, spider. Pounce. Inject it with your venom. If only you weren't stuck on the tree. Free. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, he's, he's dead with one swipe. Hey, check it out. Rocket Man is slowly making his way over. Oh, yes. I gave him a nudge. Okay. He should be close enough to fire those missiles. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes. That is what I'm talking about. Come on, Rocket Man. Take out Godzilla. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> they're not doing anything to him. Oh, it's because they're all hitting the tree. No. It's game over. There's nothing we can do now. Well, there is one thing we can do, actually. All we need to get is 
and Nagoru here. So we actually have two of them and I've got nuclear bombs on their back. So as soon as they hit Godzilla there, Godzilla should die. In fact, if you look at the firepower coming from them, it looks like they, they might actually push Godzilla off the map, potentially. If it wasn't for these trees. Okay, come on, just fire. Fire those missiles, fire the nukes, and then it will be game over for Godzilla. Yes, there we go. I think they fired him now. Come on. It looks like he's in pain. Look at the state of him. Come on, a couple more nukes. Yes! We did it! We defeated Godzilla! Even though it says I lost, but don't worry about that! But on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!